machine rhythms. There are crowds in the streets, they are crying to be heard. Roaring vocals. And grinding factory noises. Highly political industrial Slovenian band Laiba are famous or notorious for these, as well as elaborate stage shows sporting fancy lights and sometimes offended audiences through their totalitarian references, uniforms, manifestos and socialist imagery, mostly in mocking and contradictory gestures. Officially, we, uh, I cannot admit that we have any fun, but sometimes we do have some fun. Their totalitarian approach has never been quite clear. They've caused so much controversy since their formation in 1980 that they were banned by the socialist regime. Their witty, confusing and at times satirical style has gained them international renown. Our mission is uh, to make evil lose its nerves. In an ex-communist building, in a former Yugoslavian country, one of the founding members, Ivan Novak, and I start talking about dreams, some lost, like the Soviet one, and some still being searched for. The dream is the same as it ever was. It's a dream of harmony. I think that all uh, civilization, uh, complete civilization, is actually, actually dreaming, this utopian dream of perfect harmony. Unfortunately, there are, uh, there are different ways to, to the harmony, and some ways um, maybe they're trying to cut, cut the, the, the way to the harmony. <laughs> For Ivan Novak, though, the hope of harmony anytime soon is to no avail. I think it's a big chaos going on. It can be positive chaos or negative chaos, of course, uh, the outcome of it. But at the moment, uh, you can feel that, and you can feel it here in Sarajevo also, just enormous uh, energy of, uh, enormous clash of all this completely, maybe even undefined um, practices and theories of life and, and everything. It's, I think it's a reflection of what uh, internet is also bringing, which is of course a total chaos that is trying to be organized, but you can't organize it. Their influence by totalitarian regimes stretches far. In 2015, they became the first music group to be invited to perform in North Korea. They were happy. The uh, national state t TV um, actually filmed the whole concert. We had some nice talks with uh, Koreans when, uh, when they were um, there, when we were preparing the program. And uh, they realized to a certain extent that uh, we do have some songs which are kind of similar to their emotion. Uh, and they like those songs much more well, to, to their emotion, to their tradition, musical tradition, because they're very pompous. They like things oh, pompously and fast and, you know, marching and so on. They like that kind of stuff. However much they claim North Koreans relate well to their music, they admit to being as confused as everybody else. We don't really care much how people define us and um, we believe it's the best if they find their own. Uh, idea what Laibach is. We are mixing different medias, uh, but not only medias, we are also mixing different different things. So we don't consider ourselves as an artist. We don't consider ourselves um, as anything in particular. Every interpretation, everything gets in. Dreaming of harmony and being understood is certainly not Laibach's cup of tea. And one wonders if it is possible for such an ever-controversial cult band to maintain the legacy of a failed communist regime. Elif Bereketli, TRT World, Sarajevo, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Smile, smile.